Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. It's Star Wars Day out in the universe, right? So may the 4th be with you all. Star Wars, may the 4th. It's the holiday we all like to make up and pretend is real for the, the thing that we love. <laughs> Star Wars. That's a fun day, right? You get to talk about all the great things you like about Star Wars and you forget about all the stuff you don't like about Star Wars. Am I right? And just as a spoiler, uh, upfront and honest, uh, no, we are sadly not getting a Dash Rendar figure with today's reveals. I know, right? We need Dash Rendar, Shadows of the Empire, N64, baby! Come on, one of these days. But hey, how about that Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer? Much better trailer for me this time around. I definitely like what I saw this second trailer. And uh, yeah, I'm sufficiently excited now. I hope we don't get another Book of Boba Fett fake out kind of thing, you know, where we end up with... Uh, four or five episodes of The Mandalorian, and they're like, oh yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, we totally forgot about that guy. Well, we know what happens in the end, of course, but uh, hey, you know, they're adding to the lore. So in either case, yeah, I'm excited to see that when it drops later on this month. And before we get started, as always, all pre-order links, when applicable, will be available down in the description below. Links for Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, Walmarts, Yada yada. Thanks for using my links. They will help the channel to grow. So, to kick it off, we had Eric with design, Jing with marketing, Emily with design, and Chris with design. And he even brought his own. He said he made this R2 unit. I've seen the kits. I've been at conventions where they, they sell these things and people make them. That's pretty dang cool, I gotta say. If you can make your own droid and make it work and have the beeps and the boops... Well done. That, that was actually pretty fun to see that. But you're all here for toy news, right? So to kick it off, we have the Retro Collection. They're bringing this back. This is going to be a box set that throws in six of those retro figures they did a couple years back. Hopefully they fix the hands where they can hold the weapons and whatnot. So you get six figures. Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Luke, Leia, Chewie, and Han Solo. They're going to be in the box set, but each of the figures will be individually carded, so you don't have to worry about that. So, I mean, they look cool. It's nice and retro-y. It's got that big sticker again, just so you don't get confused, right? You see that, and you're like, oh, okay, this is the new stuff, right? So these are the old figures rescanned, and they do that whole thing, yada, yada. So this is going to be available starting... 25th of May at the Disneyland Resort. That's Disneyland in Anaheim. May 26th, Shop Disney and Hasbro Pulse. And then at Walt Disney World and such at a later date. So you can grab all these again for the first time. I'm really glad I found mine years ago. I remember this. It was on Father. Oh, it was for a Father's Day event at Target. They were in the Father's, uh, well, the men's section, clothing section. And I just grabbed them all. It was pretty cool. So glad I have them. Now, moving on to Star Wars The Black Series. Now, just an FYI, for those wondering, this is the six-inch line of action figures. We are going to be getting everyone's favorite <laughs> Ewok Village Leia. So there you go. They've, they've done it, right? She comes with a blaster, the Leia blaster, and a spear from an Ewok, which... I'm told that she killed the Ewok and gained the spear for courage. Something like that, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, Ewok Village Leia, right, will be at most major retailers. Pre-order May 5th. That's tomorrow, again, depending on when you see this. And she'll be on shelf in and around spring 2023. Then we have, um, yeah, this guy, which it's, it's a favorite. When I saw this, I was like, there you go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. We have Figrin Dan, and that's pretty cool. He is from the Modal Nodes. I swear to God, this is a real thing. He is a, he, well, in the music, uh, the Star Wars universe, he is known as a Jizz Whaler. <laughs> yes. Anyways, he comes with three flutes, and he's kind of a troop builder, because if you get three of these dudes, well, then, yeah, you can get uh, most of the band, right? But then you're probably thinking, like, wait a minute, where's the rest of the band? Well, I'll get to that in just a second. He is going to be available at most major retailers, pre-order shelf, spring 2023. But I'm not going to leave you hanging because we're going to get a deluxe Nalan Chiel. I didn't know this dude's name. I know Figrin Dan, but Nalan Chiel, no, he looks like he's got a, a bigger forehead or whatever. He comes with the Omnibox drum sets. 
bagpipes, extra hands, which is actually pretty cool to see a Star Wars a Black Series figure come with extra hands. That's a nice little touch. I'm a big fan of these guys. I like these. I might have to get three of the first one and two of the... I might do that. I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to get that. That looks pretty cool. Pre-order tomorrow, yada, yada. On shelf fall 2022. So kind of sort of before uh, figure and Dan. So, well, we'll see how this all goes. But like I said, pre-orders tomorrow. And then moving on, we have the Clone Wars Trooper, right? This is from the 187th Battalion, which I'm sure everybody knows <laughs> about that. He is going to be a Walgreens exclusive in the United States a GameStop exclusive in Canada, and a fan channel Hasbro Pulse thing over in the UK. So you can uh, clamor to get the 187th Battalion Trooper. And then moving on to the Vintage Collection. Now this is the three and three quarter inch scale line. So first and foremost, we're getting the Vintage Collection's Phase 1 Clone Trooper set. It's a big old box set. It's got four troopers. One of them's got the blue digs on them. Pre-order tomorrow. Shelves winter 2022 then you have the 332nd ahsoka trooper with the uh, blaster and rifle so again this is uh, ahsoka's personal <laughs> trooper something like that who knows anymore with these troopers all major retailers pre-order shelf spring 2023 and then you have the mando super commando which i like how that rhymes this is uh malls guys right from uh Clone Wars, the animated series, all that kind of stuff. Again, most major retailers, May 5th pre-order. Shelf winter 2022. So winter, you know, end of the year. We'll see what happens with that. Then we have the Attack of the Clones version of Anakin Skywalker. He's going to come with a lightsaber and his mechanical hand, right? I totally dig that so you can swap it out if you like. Human hand, mechanical hand, do whatever you like. Cloth good robe, right? You can get all emo and dark and sinister and go kill a bunch of Tusken Raiders. You can do whatever you want in the uh, Star Wars universe without consequences. Maybe even some younglings. Too. No one ever talks about that. Hopefully they address it in Kenobi. But this guy will be at most major retailers pre-order the 5th on shelf winter 2022. And then we have the Gaming Greats line. Now, this one is, I mean, it's pretty cool. It looks cool, right? He's got some blue. He's a Stormtrooper. I like the Force Unleashed logo right there. That's pretty cool. And then you got the Heavy Assault Stormtrooper, he's from Jedi Fallen Order. So basically, yeah, these are the video games, gaming greats. For the Heavy Assault Stormtrooper, it's kind of cool. He's got the big old Gatling gun. He's got the Force Shield, or whatever you call that thing. You could a blast effect on the end. So these guys will be more of a shared fan channel. So most likely, we'll say GameStop, Entertainment Earth, Best Buy, things of that nature. Tomorrow, May 5th, pre-order. Shelf Fall 2022 when you need to go after them. And then moving back to the Star Wars Black series, right? So let's not let's not get confused here. This is this was one where I was like, there you go. See, I like I'm not a big fan of troopers and and all that kind of stuff. I, I like the old school Star Wars. I pick and choose from prequels and sequels and all that kind of stuff. But with the Mandalorian, this is right up my alley. So this is the New Republic security droid. That's actually pretty cool. They gave him a black, shiny, metallic finish, they said. And, of course, he will be available at most major retailers, which is great. A lot of these are most major retailers. So thumbs up for that. May 5th pre-order. Shelf Spring 2023. Now, these th this is something I don't really talk about a lot, but I got to give it to him. This is pretty dang stellar. It's still not something I would grab. But it's just nice to talk about because uh, it's pretty dang cool. This is an upcoming, I like, you know, they call it like the role play helmets and everything else. It's kind of like cosplay. You know what I mean? That's how I know it. But this is a Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? So straight from the new Disney Plus series, you have Kenobi's Darth Vader helmet. And uh, they went all out. They got the new packaging. They talked about, you know, it's got the blue on it and stuff like that. And uh, this will be at most major retailers pre-order tomorrow. Shelf spring 2023. I really like the lenses on that. I like when Darth Vader really has the really red lenses, you know, like in um, Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, that cartoon show where they really went to town. He had that really cool, it was really Ralph McQuarrie looking design more so than his standard, you know, movie design and such. So, Pretty cool to say the least, but um, yeah, that's a that's a really cool looking helmet. I got to give it to him on that. And then to kind of just finish it off, we have the pipeline reveals for Star Wars: The Black Series. Not a whole heck of a lot, 
but there is the upcoming HK87 droid, right? So you can grab a bunch of those and army build them and have them go after the Mando and Luke and whatever else. And then to go with those cybernetic dark troopers, right? Uh, we're going to have a season two of The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker. Uh, that's one I'm definitely looking forward to. That was a great cameo. That was just like, oh. How can you top that, right? We'll see. Who knows? But in either case, thanks again to the Star Wars team for taking to the YouTubes. Talk about everything Star Wars for May the 4th. And again, like I said, all pre-order links, when applicable, will be available down in the description below. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, shameless plug, you can check out the brand new Diamond Select Star Wars Select Chewbacca 7-inch figure. Might go well with some Star Wars Hasbro Black Series. Just saying, check it out now. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.